Hi, I'm Thad Plumley, the Director of Publications for the National Groundwater Association. And I'm here today with Gary Hicks, who's been our 2019 McElhaney Lecturer. As you wrap up the lecture, what, what have you learned most from talking to contractors around the country? Well, thank you, Thad, for asking me that question. What I think I learned, and, and it was a wonderful experience that I had out there, was that for um, every presentation that I made, I got back at least 10 times more than, than I left there at, at the presentation. It was a, a wonderful experience, but l let me see if I can explain to you why I thought I learned more than I presented. It's because you go there to the state that you're traveling to, maybe get there the day before and meet the uh, direct executive director and the president of that association. And as a past president of association myself, I've always been concerned how other states ran their associations. So I really was uh, anxious to talk to them. So we would do that maybe the first evening that I was there. Then after breakfast the next morning, you know, I would most oftentimes be the opening speaker. And uh, I found out that right after I spoke, the people that followed along behind me, for maybe it would be the uh, president of that association talking about their business meetings and so on, or it might be a regulator from that state or from that particular district that would be talking about the rules and the changes and what they were doing different uh, that year, like uh, going paperless on the recording of uh, the driller's logs or renewing their certificates. And then they would be followed maybe by a groundwater scientist talking about PFAS or PFOS, you know, the new contaminant, everybody, and bringing us up to date on something like that. Then typically there'd be somebody like a, a salesman, a vendor, or one of the manufacturer suppliers talking about their newest products and everything. We'd, then we'd have a break. There'd be another in the afternoon. There'd be more talks. Uh, one afternoon was a health and safety talk, and they gave us the, we did the CPR thing, you know, with a, a renewal certificate with the little dummies on the floor and so on. That was pretty interesting. And then lots of times the afternoon, would, there might be a, uh, maybe a lobbyist for that association or a, a uh, representative, I mean a politician that would be from that state or that district would tell us or what, tell them what they were expecting to do or had done in that particular year. So for every one presentation that I made in a given state, I probably learned ten times that from each and every one of them. So if you take twenty presentations times ten, that's, I'm 200 times smarter now than I was when I started this thing. And it's, it was very rewarding. So the, the short, short and quick notice of it is I learned a great deal more than I presented. What do you hope the groundwater professionals uh, take home from your lecture? Well, from my lecture, which is basically about uh, the current business trends and trying to maybe update some of the contractors of what the bi current business dynamics of the current business environment is and what they're going to have to do to stay ahead of the game in, in the next decade to come. And, and that is they're going to have to be proactive rather than reactive. You can't just have a sign at the end of the driveway or over the top of your business and a yellow page ads. That's not going to work anymore for the people. So I'm pushing them towards being uh, active um, visually, digitally, you know, uh, maybe on Facebook. Get familiar with the smartphones and use them and use the technology that's out there to promote their business. And, and the other thing is that I, I'm going to prom promote and, and say that I believe the contractors personally should get active. It's not enough to be just a good well driller and pump installer. You also have to be a good business manager. And I and you have to be a good people manager because managing people in the decade to come is going to be very critical.